dear student the new topic now which we are taking up for discussion is crop weather calendar if you go by these three word the things are automatically clear to you crop which we are growing in the field weather which we are observing in the ob observatory and calendar it is basically the date wise arrangement so these three things are put together in order to provide a good information a crucial information to the farming community so when you will put these three together then it will become a comprehensive guide for the farmers comprehensive guide which will guide the farmer as to what operation should be taken and when so in abstract form the crop weather calendar is a comprehensive guide for farmers it is a tool that provide information on average weather of every week planting of the crop or the sowing of the crop or harvesting period of the locally adapted crops in a specific agroecological zones so this would be kind of a schematics or you can say that could, could be kind of a drawing in which the weather information plus crop management practices those are arranged in a calendar so not only this but what kinds of the pests and diseases may occur in the different stages of the crop that is also given in the crop weather calendar and when all these information would be given in the crop weather calendar so this would be the referral point for the farmers as to what operation should be adapted in order to achieve the maximum productivity and in order to reduce the load of the input on the screen you can see a screenshot of crop weather calendar and in this case you can see the different stages of the crops have been shown week wise and then which month these stages are occurring that also has been shown in this and what phenological stages this crop will have in these different dates that has also been mentioned and how the crop will look like though some figures you can also mention if you want to further elaborate this crop weather calendar in addition to this uh, the weather which would be uh, during these different meteorological week that is also summarized you can see different weather parameters those have been shown so on this particular week this week you can see that this is the normal weather condition on this week this is the normal condition so that is that is how the weather condition the normal weather conditions during the different stages of the crop growth week wise that is given in the crop weather calendar not only this information is given but in addition to that the optimum requirement of the crop during different phenological stages that is also covered so it is kinds of a matching of the requirement of the crop and when these weather parameters are occurring so it is basically matching between these two and you also know that the diseases and the insect will also require some favorable weather conditions so when these favorable weather conditions will occur those have also been shown here insect wise and the disease wise you can see in green color the insect window has been shown when when this favorable weather condition will occur and in yellow color the favorable conditions of the diseases the different diseases those have been shown and when these condition would be available in what period of the crop these would be available that has also been shown so this is kind of a guide for the farmers that during this time from this time let's say 27th week to let's say 45th week uh, there would be every possibility of the blast so farmer should remain always attentive always ready to control the event of the blast if there is any that is being reported in his field or maybe the adjoining field similarly you can see the stem borer may come somewhere from 27th week to uh, the 42nd of the week because the weather conditions are favoring 
uh, this is stem borer. So in that case, the farmer should always remain ready to control the stem borer because there would be every possibility of occurrence of the stem borer. At the bottom of this crop weather calendar, you can also mention photographs of the different biotic agents like the stem borer, the leaf folders, BPH or uh, just to identify as to what kind of insect it is, what kind of disease it is. So those photographs you can mention, it will again be kind of a guide for the farmers so that they can identify what is the problem in the field and accordingly they can take the protective measure in crop weather. In addition to that, the weather warnings are also kept in the crop weather calendar and the definition of these weather warnings will change a little bit from one phenological stage to the other phenological stage as you can mention in the crop weather calendar. This you can see that rain of more than 200 millimeter during this time could be no extreme weather condition and then it will hinder the different operations agriculture operation. Wet spell of of uh, no, 125 millimeter of, for 3 days that can also hinder the, the operations of the crop. Cloudy condition for more than 6 days that could also be problematic for the crop because number 1 there would be more incidences of the, the pest and disease and number 2 there would be less availability of the radiation. Drought condition for let us say if the soil moisture is less than the required for continuously 10 days then no, it could be problematic. In addition to that, wind speed, higher wind speed can also be problematic, but this higher wind speed will not be problematic during early stage of the crop when the crop plant is very small, so high wind speed is not going to affect that. But the same high wind speed will become problematic when the crop would have attained maximum vegetation stage. and this is the time when because of the high wind speed, the crop will uh, lodge and because of the lodging of the crop, the crop productivity and the quality both were deteriorate. You can also see that the cloudy condition for more than 4 days will become weather warning when the crop is in the maximum vegetation stage or maybe in, in the early reproductive stage. So similarly, you can see that these definitions have changed uh, of the weather warnings or when the crop is in the different stages. You can further see it, it has further changed. Even 100 millimeter rainfall during maturity period that will become problematic for the crop and that is why we should be very attentive when uh, the rainfall is like that, more than 100 millimeter in a day. Similarly, you can see the wind speed and the drought like condition, but in this case the drought for more than 20 days that can be even tolerated by the crops. But during early stage even drought of a 10 days that would be very difficult for the crop. So this is how uh, the different kinds of informations are kept together in the crop weather calendar according to date wise occurrence of these events. And this, this particular arrangement would be very informative, would be very important for a farmer to perform these different agricultural operation as per a standard procedure, as per a standard 